Well, Matt, the market's looking for any sort of good news that they can find, unfortunately, because we've been through this quite a bit, you know, sort of one week, you know, things are a little bit positive, and then the next, you know, things turn south. So it's very hard to predict, and that's one of the things where the market's looking for any sort of good news to help justify, you know, sort of moving the markets upwards. When we look at sort of from a fundamental standpoint, there's a lot to like for a lot of the Asian companies here in particular. But then sort of with that short-term negative sentiment surrounding trade, it's been very difficult for investors to try to, you know, try to invest sort of, uh, you know, sort of for what's going on with the current situation. Yeah, it really is uh, taking things on a day-by-day -day basis. How are you trading then with all of this trade noise that's out there really dominating markets on this daily basis? Yeah, so for being bound up investors, what we're trying to focus on is not necessarily the short-term noise that we've been seeing over the past years and focusing a bit less on the geopolitical noise that's going on, but focus a lot more on fundamentals. When we look at fundamentals here in Asia in particular, when you look at companies or when you look at countries in particular like uh, China, like India, like Philippines, we see very solid earnings growth expectations for the remainder of 2019 as well as for 2020 as well. And when you sort of look at a lot of the countries, in particular here in Asia, when you look at their overall price to earnings as well as price to book, the overall sentiment and overall numbers are showing very good signs. Because when you look at Asian markets in particular, Asian equity markets right now are trading roughly around 12 times earnings and around 1.4 times price to book, which is about one standard deviation below their historical 15-year averages. So when you're looking at sort of purely from a, you know, sort of are they cheap? Is there value there? There is definitely a lot of value to be had amongst Asian stocks. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.